In this movie, we're going to go over the solution to crosstab problem 1. From my crystal report start page, go ahead and click on the crosstab report wizard. From here, we're simply going to connect to our data source. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and connect to your crystal training DB. From here, we need the employee, the office, and the revenue transaction table. And go ahead and click next. From here, we're going to go ahead and delete this link because we need to create our own. From here, I'm doing a simple rearranging. Don't have to do this, but I find it helps to know what my main table is and go from my main to my support tables, if you will. From here, I need to connect revenue transaction site by clicking and holding down and dragging it to office num of the office table. From here, I'm going to scroll down to the office manager field and connect it to the employee ID field of the employee table. And that's it. Now I click next. From here, we were supposed to pull in the employee full name. You can do this manually, but the hint said go ahead and use a formula. For right now, I'm going to go ahead to the office table and pull in division first. Then I'm going to pull in office name. Then I'm going to go to my revenue transaction table and pull in the rev date up here in the column. I'm going to highlight that, and instead of for each day, I'm going to show for each week. And the summary field, I'm going to go ahead and drag in revenue amount once. And now I have the sum of my revenue amount. Then I'm going to go ahead and drag it in again, but this time I'm going to highlight it and choose average. You can also simply drag in employee first name, middle name, and last name. Go ahead and click next. Next. And there's no filter finish, so let's go ahead and hit finish. Notice how this report has broken it down into its groups, very largely so. Now for the last group, which is the employee name, we don't need all those subtotals. So what we're going to do is right click, go to our cross tab expert, go to my customized style, and I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm going to click on employee middle name and suppress the subtotal. Click on employee first name, suppress the subtotal, and click on the office name and suppress the subtotal. Then I'm going to press OK. And here we are. Not bad, eh? The point of the cross tab, of course, is not to make it as complicated as possible, but enable the user to compile large amounts of data rather quickly. Now I do have to warn you, the cross tab reports functions pretty much in the same way as a regular crystal report. The more records you have to pull across onto your local PC for your processor to crunch, the longer this will take. Large data sets are always tricky anyway. But for most uses, cross tabs can outpace a regular crystal report 99.999% of the time. Now, whether they're beautiful and exactly what the report request was looking for, of course, is a another story. The last thing I wanted to show you came in the hint in the definition of crosstab problem one, where it was hinted to use a formula name to create the full name of each employee. The quick way, I just drug in each of the fields and then suppress the subtotals. But now we're going to do something a little bit different. We right click on our cross tab, go to our cross tab expert, click on new formula, and type in full name. From here we press OK. And from here it's actually pretty simple. I'll drag in first name, I'll put the plus sign, and I'll put a single quote, space single quote, plus, and I'll go ahead and drag in their last name. I'll check my work. No errors are found. I'm simply concatenating the strings together with a blank space in between so they're not all jammed together. Makes it a little easier to read. You can just as easily put employee last name comma first name, but this will do for now. Let's go ahead and save and close. Now instead of each separate field, which required me to suppress the subtotal, I'm going to go ahead and drag in our formula field, full name, and press OK. From here, we have a single field as opposed to three. Makes it a little bit easier to read and a little easier to deal with. If you have any questions about this, please review the formula section of this course.